Welcome to Looptopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to mount a solar panel on dirt cheap, and I'm going to show you an upgrade so you can get the maximum use of your panel. This is some scrap lumber I pulled out of a dumpster, so it was free. I just had to pull all the nails out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to burn it so it can take the outdoors without rotting. If you don't have that, just uh, paint it or uh, shellac it or something. Once you got your wood ready for outdoor stuffs, you're going to want to drill a hole actually through the frame and get a bolt long enough to go through the 2x4. And then you're going to drill at the very top, 2x4, you're going to drill a hole evenly on both sides and you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So I'm putting on this with a few upgrades and one is the base here. This is probably the hardest part. I had to drill bolts through the bottom and then screw the screws on. But what I did is I turned the plate long ways, the two by four, so that way the screws would stick up. I didn't have short enough screws that fit on these heads. They just go right through the holes. So I had to do it that way. Um, so there are some sharp screws. I guess you could cut them if you wanted or put something on them. But otherwise, uh, so that's the bottom of it. The other thing is I put carabiners on the side this will be where you basically tie the chain in and you'll see that what that looks like in a minute the very last thing i did to upgrade is i stole this idea from our sun oven what you do is you get a square or rectangle tube and you drill so there's a hole in it with um it has to be at a 90 degree angle and you can either mark the bottom with a pen or you can drill a little hole or put a screw or something uh, but you want to see through the big hole into the little hole and you're gonna you're gonna mark it and I'll show you what that looks like all hooked up but what this does is it gives you a, a way to target the Sun exactly and you'll get the maximum solar so you can see how it goes together with the wheels in place I've got chain and I'd probably put it I'm using a, a thin hook I'd probably use a thicker hook maybe in the future if I it's just it's what I had or maybe even another carabiner system uh, so this is it. It's you can line it up, and remember the thing I was telling you how the little light shines through, and when you're right on the other hole or mark or whatever you put in there, uh, you're at maximum sun. So that's the way to aim it. This is a 200 watt mega rich solar, and the reason I got this is it's the best one that works with the uh, Blue Eddy EBS 70s. Apparently it's really hard to find a glass solar panel that will max it up and this is about as close as you can get without going over the amperage. Here's the final construction of this. I decided to add a cross support and it really does make it a lot sturdier. I would say two things. If you want to make this permanent, I would probably put like an eye hook here and screw it into the ground with a, a strap kind of like how you mount a tent or a you know like you can take one of those dog screws and mount it uh, if not if you want to use this so it can chase like i'm doing right now i'm chasing the sun the wheels make it easy but i would turn the wheels sideways when you stop just kind of lock them over you know one of those things and uh that seems to hold it in place better I think that's, and I think the target thing really works well. I just, you can actually stand behind it and look and aim the whole thing at once. It's pretty neat. You can just look inside. So that's not bad. Uh, I'm getting about 120, 115, 120 with, uh, with this setup. And you can see that there is, it's not real sunny. It's a lot of shade actually. So it's not bad. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, again, if a storm was coming, I would just collapse this thing and lay it flat on the ground instead of trying to leave it tied in place. Uh, I might even like strap it to the ground if it's a hurricane or something. There's one upgrade I think I, I think would be useful is maybe to put like a handle right here. You know those like screen door handles or a, a drawer pull or something so you can grab this down. Although you can just reach under and grab it. I think it would be a lot more comfortable if you could do that. And I might even put another handle here so you can move them together in one shot um, 
I will say if this thing gets really extended, it comes down fast. So be ready for that. Maybe only take one chain off at a time and walk it with the chain. You know, don't just open it all the way and flatten it. Because in the summertime, this thing's going to be laying, you know, really low. Because the sun goes way up in the... So the angle's going to be, you know, 30 degrees off the ground. So when that happens, uh, it's going to pull a lot of weight against it. And uh, you don't want to leave it open or it'll just kind of fall on the ground. You want to brace it, you know, walk it with the chain. Do a couple links, do a couple links, do a couple links until you get it where you want. So you can get a good idea of what it looks like when you lay it down. And you can lay it completely flat, but I like to give it a little space so I don't have to pick it up in the mud. Like I think this is going to keep it a little drier. And you can tuck the cords up off the ground. I hope you uh, can use this design. It's pretty minimally cheap. You know, this was all scrap wood, a couple bolts, and some wheels. Uh, Harbor Freight, I think they were four bucks each, five bucks each. And uh, some rectangle or screwing. This is off a vinyl fence that I just cut. So this was all trash people were throwing out. Everything but the chain. The chain I actually had to pay for, but you could use rope. Well, I hope you uh, learned something and, and tried it out. Let me know if... Uh, you have any ideas on how to improve this model? I'm definitely listening, but I just liked how, because you know, some of these I looked on the internet and they were crazy. Like there were some that um, they built entire frame systems on the ground to keep it in place. And like, I wanted something mobile that if you only had something like a Blue Eddy, you could just move around because the, uh, I have some of the folding panels. They're okay, I don't think they work that great and you're always screwing with them. I wanted something easy like this that I could leave in the rain. You know, a lot of those you can't leave in the rain, you have to bring them in. And I don't have to worry about it if it's raining and uh, if I get lazy I'll just put it, you know, towards the south at optimal degree and, and leave it for, that, that's what it is. But it is really nice when uh, you have a very low battery and not much sun, you, especially in the winter here, we're chasing sun all the time. So I hope this helps. Uh, Remember, if you're interested in checking out more, we have videos over at Brighteon and Odyssey that are uncensored. We're not allowed to put them up here on YouTube. Uh, also, if you're looking for a homestead, we're still looking for people. Check out our homestead. We have a Telegram group. Uh, we are a vegan homestead, so there's no livestock out there. But if that's your vibe, come join us. Anyway, take care of each other. We love you. Hang in there.